Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, look, look at me. I'm all decked out mate. North Texas, Lego. I got my man uh, William Quinn to send me, uh, well actually I didn't get him to, he sent me, man. What an absolute legend, I absolutely love this hoodie. Love the beanie, love the t-shirt underneath, love my towel, love my football magazines, my playing jersey, my flag, my trading cards, my pencils, mate! It's amazing! So anyways, look, what I like to do after receiving my, my starter pack for a certain team is to either take the suggestions from the person that sent me uh, the stuff to, to have a look at, usually they've got a few requests, and they do, uh, William does in this, in this one, or I'll just, uh, you know, choose, choose one myself. But usually when they, you know, when someone sends me something, in return, obviously I do the reaction. And, and I'm more than okay with that. I cannot wait to do it. So, with that said, the first video he wanted me to check out was North Texas Goal Line Stand versus Rice, October 31st, 2018. Uh, Rice, I'm assuming, is a team. But we're going to find that out, so let's do it. That's the first video. North Texas. I want to see some crazy defending. The quicker you here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is. Here we go. There it is. North Texas goal line stand versus Rice, October thirty first, two thousand thirteen. And believe it or not, the date is October the thirty first, two thousand and eighteen. So this was exactly. Five years ago. Believe it or not, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? All right. All right. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this camera sorted. Put all my new goodies down here to sort out in good time. And for now, let us watch. The North Texas goal line stand. There they are. You got your four. You got your four linemen. You got your uh, your three uh, linebackers and your uh, your four um, uh, defensive backs there. So it's uh, it's a four it's a four three four on the goal line. <laughs> no, I got no idea. All right. Oh, the triple option is it? No, it's just a straight pitch. Big tackle! All right, so we'll watch, we'll watch the same one again, but I, I've just got to shut up, obviously. Big tackle, man. Big tackle, I like that. Fakes the handoff, tries to get through, but no. Good D. Third and goal. Do it again, boys. Come on. What do they got? Triple. Triple option, is it? <laughs> oh, gives it to him. Goes wide. Going nowhere. It's the fourth down. What's he going to do? Lucky. Let's keep it going. Oh, helmet's off. Come on, it's got to be somewhere. I mean, I know I'm going for these guys, but I'm thinking, shit, man, you're so close. One pitch, let's go. Nah. See, what would happen if... Okay, this guy... Okay, this guy right here. Is he meant to block him? He is, isn't he? And he does. But the guy... Oh, let's keep going. Big D. Goes in motion. Up to the left side of the formation. The guard takes the snap. He looks left. 
<laughs> Shit! Oh! Oh! Oh, what the hell, man? Oh, if he doesn't score this. Would you click? Happy Halloween to you. It's Halloween today. There we go. Alright, um, hold up, let's go back. And uh, let's go to the next one. Alright, that was great. The last play was the craziest, exactly. You know what? You know how he ran around his, the injured guy on, the, on the, the ground? He should not have done that. Not a, not a hope in hell. He should have just hurdled him. He caught, yeah, he, he slowed himself down by at least two seconds by doing that. Anyways, thankfully it was on video so we can react to it five years later. Number two, North Texas versus UTSA, final drive. Here we had to go down the entire length of the field in a minute and two seconds with no time out. Wow. Let's do that. North Texas versus UTSA. Final drive. There it is. It's interesting that Darden is back. Okay, a minute and 17, fourth and three. We're defending, sorry, we're returning. Or oh, we will be. The mean green. Oh, they're called the mean green. I was like, how can they be called the mean green? That doesn't make sense. That's like someone, like a person, not a team. But hey, there you go. North Texas brought the house last punt. Big punt. Well, not really. It's a high short punt. And it takes an absolutely perfect UTSA bounce. Yoni Root. So he left that because he thought that it was going to go keep bouncing towards and go out for a safety. Is that right? Or not for a safety, for a touchback. It's a high short punt. And it takes... So he hoped that it would continue bouncing and go out, but it didn't. It and that's what you find with these end over end punks. You know, with the rugby style punt, they will come back. They'll bounce back more so than they sort of continue going. Whereas, whereas you know, if it's a spiral punt and that bounces on the ground, it's pretty much, con you know, it's always going to continue going. Unless it's like, not a very nice spiral, but anyways. Absolutely perfect UTSA bounce. Yanni Roots is doing his job. You know, the last punt a minute and seven. Careened into the end zone. No timeouts. Really thrilled about that, but boy, you couldn't have asked for a better punt. Let's do this, boys. All right, Mason, fine. All I have to do is go 98 yards down the field to win this game. No timeouts. 98 yards. Your team trails by four. Let's see if Mason Fine has anything left, or Jalen Guyton. Mason Fine. Oh, Piece of cake for our quarterback, Mason Fine. Here he is. This is going to be good. Here comes some pressure. Fine over the middle. Quick slant. And Michael Lawrence is dragged down at a short game. Clocks are ticking. Let's go. Let's go. No first down there. Well, I like that they were still bringing some heat. Here comes Tawa Effa. Fine to the sidelines. Rico Bussey Jr. with the reception. Okay, so the clock. clock stops when you go out. North That's Texas right. has moved out of the shadow of its own end zone. Good stuff. UTSA will take that all day long. Keep everything in front of you and get some pressure on the quarterback and do not let number nine beat you deep. That's still 80 yards to go for North Texas, trailing by four. Fine has to escape. He's gonna throw it long on the sidelines and too high, out of bounds. That's the second time Rico Bussey Jr. has made a catch, and a very good one, only to be out of bounds and have it brought back. Well, again, UTSA doing a lot of different things schematically and giving Mason Fine a lot to look at. They looked like they were going to bring the pressure again that side and then drop very deep into coverage. So they're giving him some different looks right here. Try to jump it up and make it as... So what are you trying to do here? You're trying to get a pass and then go out, right? To stop the clock. This offense down the field with only 41 ticks And out. Out route. Out route. Is at the top of the screen. 
Let's see what happens. He's been a menace all day for the UTSA defense. Fine, gonna chuck it downfield. Oh! Caught. What? Caught by Lawrence. No. I thought there's no way in hell. And he went out as well. He did everything right, but time is jump. He saw it, he tracked the ball, he just left the speed wow. too soon. What? Clock's <laughs> two seconds left. Hang on, man. Fuck, I didn't even see that. I thought it was a catch. For North Texas. Trying to pull off perhaps the biggest win. And the young Hang on, what happened? What happened there? Fine, gonna chuck it downfield. One step, and, and two steps. Caught, caught by Lawrence. <laughs> Thirty-one. Maybe not. For North Texas, gonna pull off perhaps the biggest win in the young Seth Luttrell era. Look, it's Troy Pol Pol Polamalu, number fifty-five, and Roadrunners. Everyone down over there. Well, that, now you got to change your defense too. The goal is still the same. You've got to keep him out of the end zone. But look, Austin Judy is right there. He just, he just let his feet a smidge too soon. Was it a little push? Kind of looks like. I was thinking that too. Been a little. He might have pushed him. Fly receiver move. Those good receivers do. But you're right. That's What's that? Offensive Judy. interference. Just underneath that ball. Yeah, that's what the best receivers do. They find a way to get some separation, and they do it. Any way they can. Now this matchup's lived up to everything we expected. Absolutely, and that's so. Said something about last team out of the ball might win this thing, but both of these defenses have played reasonably well too, considering the skill level that they're facing from the opposing offense. North Texas needed a game-winning field goal on September 23rd here against UAB. That was their last home game. And they conjure up some more magic. Oh, Downfield. What a bullet. Hauled in, but short of the first down markers. The clock's still going. Oh, my and now God. And 20 seconds left. Hang on. So, so that was a catch. A receiver move. That's like, you got to keep him out of the end zone. But look, Austin Juby is right there. He just, he just let his feet have spin up. The ball might win this thing that they're facing. From the opposing offense. Okay, so it was a catch. I don't know. <laughs> it's confused there. I thought it was a catch. They're only 30 yards out now. Now they're 20 yards out. Hauled in, but short of the first down marker, so the clock's still going. And now it's under 20 seconds left. Fine, spikes it. And I'm not sure if North Texas knew right away that they didn't get the first down, but then they scrambled to the line of scrimmage to spike that ball. So that's an incomplete pass, so it's a stoppage of clock. Trailing by four. <laughs> Man, this has been some kind of game. Win, lose, or draw. You got a feeling, man. They're going to make the catch. We know we're not going to see a draw with a four-point difference on the scoreboard, though. Or is it a running play? Oh, they're blitzing. Oh! Find oh! Throws Go! Bussy Jr. has space to the 10 yard line, and he's going to take it into the end zone! <laughs> he's got space! He scores with 10 seconds left to take Bro. the lead. Man, that quarterback got blitzed like nothing I've ever seen. And he still got it off. Unbelievable. He might have just sacrificed his body for the biggest. Unbelievable. And he still had something to do. That number one, man, oh. Shot on him, and then once the ball got free, and the receiver was running clean. Nice. You knew it was going to be awfully hard for UTSA to make this stop. Well, that guy, number one, should have fucked. He should have had him, man. Deborah Davis can't make it happen. And here's the shot from CJ Levine. Just a smidge too well hard. done, man. That Just quarterback. A a what a legend. By Mason Fine. Mason Fine. Game. Now, when was that game, by the way? Last year. Okay. 
All right, so the next one we're going to watch is the North Texas Fake Fair Catch. And then the one after that, we're going to watch Beyond the Green 2018. So I'm going to call it there. If you have enjoyed this video, please press like. If you want to subscribe, that's even better. And I'll see you guys back here very shortly to watch the 90-yard punt return touchdown with the fake fair catch. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming he goes like that. No, 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 no. Maybe he doesn't go like that and just catches it, but the people around him think that it is a fair catch. And then he goes. And I think I've got a, I've got a sneaky suspicion that I've actually seen it before. Which, you know, is kind of makes sense. I mean, I have been following the season. So, with that said, I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>